rosy like you think it is. <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's, it's, not. it's not gonna be anything you think about here, nothing. <laughs> so there is therefore no inconsistency with his nature when it comes to punishment. Because when you look at the book of Revelation, you say, wow, you see, you see that same God of love? Yes, because he's consistent. He has become Christ to go to the cross. If you reject him, you're going to go through this, what we saw in Revelation chapter 6. That's, this is what we need to tell folks. It's, it's, it's not, oh, loving, loving God. No, he loved you too much. He loved me too much. That he went to that cross. That is the ultimate love. You reject that. There's no love for you anywhere else in him. No, nada. You reject that love, that pure love, that humiliated him. Could you imagine God naked? How many of us want to walk out naked in the street? Let me see you. You want to walk out naked in the street? No. Because of dignity. But he went to the, he, he was crucified naked. You know that? He was not clothes on. No, not, nothing. That's how humiliated he was for us. So our humiliation becomes his, I mean, his humiliation becomes our glory. His fears becomes our boldness and confidence. So there is no inconsistency with this nature. The lamp again opens the first seal and John sees a white house and an unnamed, an unnamed, I was talking about book of Revelation earlier. It is an unnamed. That means we don't know. We, 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 if we attach anything to the name here, we are only speculating. Does that make sense? It's an unnamed. So we don't know. <laughs> hey Amen. I don't know. If I add any name here, oh, it's coming from the north or it's coming from the south. I'm just speculating. It's not in there. The Bible says it's an unnamed. It wasn't given to John. <laughs> Amen. It is. It has no name. <laughs> Period. <laughs> it has no name. An unnamed rider carrying a bow and wearing a crown. Verses 1 and 2. Why the horses are mentioned in only two places in the book of Revelation. Only two places. Here... We saw in uh, Revelation chapter 6 and then Revelation chapter 19, verse 11. Some scholars identify these two as the same writer. Since the Lord is opening the seal, it is not him. For the father is a wild horse, does not mean it is the Lord sitting on there. Because the, uh, the Lord has received the scroll way before this sin here. So it is not him. Do you know that an enemy can be very deceptive? Oh, yeah, very deceptive. The Bible called him in the book of Corinthians that he's angel of light. He come in a three-piece suit. He comes so smooth, nice smelling. Oh, he's, he has money. You wouldn't even notice he's the enemy. And, and back when we call it snake under grass. Be careful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he come all smooth, all nice. Trip piece all with all bling bling. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> he's 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 not he's not good. He's not up for no good. He's up to no good. Now, the rider on this horse, again, the rider on this horse. Let me go back here. Since the Lord is opening the seal, it is not him. Does that make sense? It is not him. So when you read that, oh. I saw one uh, uh, angel on the white horse. No, that, that wasn't the Lord. Because the Lord, he was he had the one who received the seal. So he wasn't the one. The rider on this horse is probably the Antichrist or a symbol of some condition which will prepare his coming. Again, we are not given the detail. So anything I do as a minister is just going to be speculation. Does that make sense? Anything I bring in here, whether today or in the future, is just going to be speculation. 
I am just going to tell you, I don't know because he did not mention that, gave me that detail for me to try to give you, oh, it is, no, no, when you go to uh, Russia, it's, no, I'm just speculating. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> it is not there, okay? <laughs> he said we shouldn't add anything to it or not take anything out of it. Didn't he say that? Yeah, I saw it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you don't, it is not here, it is not here, period, okay? Yeah, you know, human uh, inquisitiveness, we want to know there are certain things, this is why we are limited, amen? We don't have the capability of knowing all things, <laughs> okay? We don't have that. Now, this writer seems to lead the way for the coming of other writers, as we're gonna see in the near future. The second seal is open, verses three to four, and a red horse comes forth carrying a rider with a great sword. And this is a symbol of war and bloodshed, which follows the antichrist violence. And you wanna tell me I'm gonna be here before that? Please take me out. No, 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 I don't wanna see it. I don't want to witness it. I don't care how many people teach that. No, I don't want to witness that. I'm already witnessing too much here. All right. <laughs> okay. Not, not, not tribulation in, in the book of Revelation, please. The dead seal is open, verses 5 through 6, and a black horse comes forth carrying the rider with a pair of balances or scales in his hand. The seals symbolize, again, famine, which follows war. The fourth seal is open, verses 7 and 8, and a pale and a yellowish green horse carrying the rider, death and forth. <laughs> it says that the head is followed with him. Oh, it does not say whether he is riding on the same horse as the death or riding on another horse. He didn't say that, we didn't read that, did we? No, we didn't. He didn't say whether it was riding on the same horse or another one, we didn't read that. So anything we attach to that will be only speculative. And I love to be, to, to stay with the word of God, okay? I love to stay with it and say, Lord, give us some wisdom into this. Then as we go into, we're gonna see, okay, is this similarity of because we can see a lot of similarities already in the world that is against look at the, the critical uh, uh race theory of today that is completely anti-god it is humanity trying to make themselves god can you imagine you telling a black man a black kid that no he's always gonna be victim and telling the white boy that no he's what is what kind of teaching is that? That is anti, that is completely anti-God. So we are seeing some of these anti-God things already around us, among us. Now, the fourth seal again, as I said earlier, I mentioned of, I have mentioned that uh, whether this, the writer is on the same as death or riding on another horse, the fourth of the earth population is destroyed by fourth means. This means that war, famine, death, disease, and wild beast. Oh Lord, I don't want to be part of this. I really don't want to. I don't want to. So the fifth seal is open, which we saw in verses nine and 11. And John sees the souls of those who were slain for the word of God and the testimony which they had given. We're going to pause here and take our communion. I believe I'm going to do a, a little bit. Of, I'm going to 